Youth Devotions of the Week with Becca. Are you going to sit there the whole time, Poops? Can you see him? Say hello to your friends. Right. Let's get going. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Youth Devotions. It's a pleasure to have you here. Oh, Cooper's made an appearance. Are you going to tell your friends that you're one? He's literally run away, sorry. I don't think he likes you lot anymore. Welcome back to our channel. We are on our next episode, looking at prayer, moving along swiftly through the Lord's Prayer. And we, this week, are looking at Matthew 6, verses 11 and 12. And they say this. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins or debts as we forgive those who sin or debt against us. I feel like I have been praying my whole life and the culture of prayer especially in a Christian home is that you pray before bed right and I remember all of us as siblings um, would do it with our parents normally with our mum every single night and the way we do it is we say God thank you for today please look after and just list off people that we knew and then we just proceed to spend the next five minutes because you always pray for a long time at night right because you wanted to stall things as long as possible i feel ya we just continue to go through all the things that we wanted or needed and that's the way we prayed when we were kids and i feel like actually that's something that can then go on into the rest of our life because for so many of us so often we use prayer as a time to ask god for things and i guess in some ways Prayer is for that. But I think when we live in a culture that is so obsessed with consumerism, it's very easy to treat God like Father Christmas. I was having some very interesting conversations with my goddaughter a few months ago about Father Christmas. All these questions about Father Christmas came from, or Santa, I feel like some people call him Santa. But so many of those questions came out of the song, you know, um, you better not know, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why, Santa Claus is coming to tell. And she'd learnt that song at school, but the bit that had worried her a little bit was the lines, he knows when you've been sleeping, he knows when you're awake, he knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. The more I think about those lyrics, Right, the more I think, actually, so often, like, that's what we present God as. This whole idea that if we're good enough, then God kind of owes us what we want. Or maybe a better metaphor is the idea of us treating God like a credit card machine. What are they called? You know what I mean, the machines you put your card in and get money out. ATM. And this whole idea that if we've stored enough good up, in our account, then when we put our card in and give it to God, he's gonna give us the things that we deserve. But actually, both of these ways of thinking are really toxic to our faith. Because as Christians, we believe that you can't earn God's goodness. He just gives it to us. And we call that grace. Whilst you do often reap what you sow, you don't have a credit line with God. Because prayer is not transactional. Prayer is communal. It's community. A transactional relationship is this whole idea of being in a relationship for your gain. What can I get out of this person? A communal relationship is a relationship based on trust. It's a relationship built on maintaining love, not earning it. And in this bit of the Lord's Prayer, it's very, very clear that God teaches us to pray for the things we need, not the things we want. Jesus knew that our short-sighted consumer brains would struggle with that, right? And he did make it pretty clear in that verse. So if you're going to ask God for something in prayer, I think it's a good idea to check your desires. What is your motivation for wanting that thing? Is it good or is it bad? Is it communal or is it transactional? Is it something that you want right now? Is it a short-term thing? Or is it something that's going to benefit you in the long run? I think it's really interesting that the two things that God tells us we should be praying for are bread and forgiveness. He knows what we really need. Bread being the basic thing that we need to sustain our lives. And forgiveness, the fundamental thing we need in our relationship with God and with other people. 
I encourage you this week to take some time to reshape the way you think about prayer and God. Is he just some kind of giving machine or ATM machine or Father Christmas figure? Or is he your father? What does your relationship with him look like? Are you just looking at what you can get out of God? Or are you taking time trusting God with your deepest needs? I think it is a huge challenge for all of us. So as always, I'm gonna to pray to end and then we'll wrap things up. Lord God, I thank you that you give us the things we need. Lord, I thank you that you are a God who understands our brokenness and our consumerism and the way we're programmed to want things and that you don't let it get in the way of our relationship with you. And Lord, I pray that you would challenge us this week and flag up the times when we are just listing things off that we need as if you're Father Christmas and challenge us in being people who come to you for relationship and not for stuff. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for joining us again. We have only got one more episode left on this series. So if you haven't already recommended or suggested a book of the Bible you'd love to look through, then I highly recommend you do so. And I'll see you next week for our final session on prayer. Bye. Amazing.